Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Oh, it's so great to be here and to see you guys all again and I hope that you've absolutely enjoyed The Bachelorette. So since leaving the mansion, I've spent a lot of time with my closest friends and family. I've also done a lot of traveling throughout South Africa. I've been to a few provinces over the last few months. I've been focusing on work and uh, with COVID being so bad last year, I decided to apply for a bunch of jobs overseas and I'm hoping one of them will pan out. Um, what now for me personally is just working on myself, working on self-love and just working on my fitness. Um, yeah, it's just uh, helping me keep a nice clear, clear mind all the time and helps me keep focus. How I found love. I'm not going to mention too many specifics about this topic, but I am in a happy space at this moment in time. Taking a little bit of a step back from trying to find love, um, I feel like I need to do a lot more self-work and figure out a few more things before I can start looking and caring for someone else. I still believe in love and I still hope to be successful in love and see where things drive from there. So you went on reality TV. Did you grow? What did you learn? And I know it sounds mad cliche, but genuinely I came out of the experience having learned so much about myself. And I think the biggest single thing that I learned is knowing where my energies lie and being able to understand who I actually want to share my energy with. I've gained uh, confidence from the show and I've also um, made some amazing, amazing friends. I realize now what it takes to be in a relationship and the commitments and um, you know, the foundations need to be there and what you need to look for. So I feel like I've matured in many of those ways. What never made it to screen, I found really funny was um, I was asked by Cameron or Khanya, one of the two guys to throw down my best pickup lines as a bartender to girls. So we had Cameron and Khanya act as girls come to my secret bar there in the mansion in the kitchen and uh, I had to whip out my best pickup lines to try, you know, take them out on a date. You know, Kinky K and Christina Ray Boo Boo Bear. I actually scored a runaway uh, try during the rugby match. Uh, it was then disallowed by Ruan who was the referee at the time. But uh, that was definitely a highlight which didn't make it to the screen, unfortunately. One of the best moments that we had was every couple of days, every time we're feeling the vibe, we'd get together, shout out the flow, and just start rapping, dropping bars in a circle, and everyone just having a laugh, you know? And I think that was one of the, the, the dopest things that you guys didn't get to see, but you know what I mean? If I could do something differently, <clears throat> I'd probably be less shy around Tuniso and uh, I'd try to put myself out there more so she could get to know me a bit better. I might have tried to cry a little bit less on TV. <laughs> um, but you know what, uh, feeling is healing and I'm really happy with how the show turned out and my decisions and um, yeah, I got lots of great support from all the fans so I feel like I did everything right and I wouldn't change anything. Um, I think I went onto the show with an energy, with the vibrancy to go be myself, to have the best fun, to meet people, have a laugh and potentially find love. And I think really my spirit and character showed and evidenced that. Um, and really, was there anything I'd do different? Absolutely not. So how do I rate Denise was beatboxing skills? Um, I would rate it probably a 7 out of 10 or so. Um, but because of your beatboxing in front of a complete stranger at that moment in time and just for doing that I mean add an additional point so I would say a solid 8 out of 10 for those beatboxing skills. Do I think that Q and I could have possibly made it as a couple? Um, it's very hard to say. Uh, we definitely had some sparks and there was definitely attraction there. If it was a normal, normal kind of dating situation I definitely believe that there would have been a couple more dates and yeah who knew, who knows what could have happened eh? How do I feel about opening up about my father on the show? I have built a stronger relationship with my father over the years, which he would choose to do things differently uh, if he could go back in time. What's important is that we are in a very good space and we do have a very strong relationship and that does continue to build over time, so which is great. I wish Toniso and her partner that she chose the best future ever. I'm sure out of the guys that were left in the mansion when I left were all really, really good guys, but there were some solid guys in there and I'm sure she chose the right one and I'm sure they're going to make an amazing, amazing couple and I wish them the best. 
So I'm wishing you all the love and happiness in your future together. I'm so overjoyed that you guys, your guys' connection was able to blossom into something absolutely beautiful and real and tangible. And I genuinely hope that you guys are able to build a beautiful foundation, a beautiful relationship, and yeah, step forward into your dreams. So shout out to you guys. Mad love, and enjoy the journey ahead.